Okay, 13,000 subscribers, as I have been doing ever since I started the channel back in 2011. Uh, every time I ratchet up another 1,000 subscribers, I make a video to thank them for subscribing and just give a brief description of where I'm going with the channel here, um, you know, in the uh, short term, like what I'm going to be working on next. So, um, this one was unusual. In the past, it, you know, it took some time when I first started and was first doing this and YouTube wasn't that really popular back then. Uh, it would take me a year, year and a half to get a thousand subscribers. Now I did it in one month. And I really believe what happens is is when I focus on something that's popular and that was the Carcano rifles and the uh, amount of videos I churned out about it when they're up for sale when there's a lot of interest. I believe that helped a lot, and thanks. Uh, and it kind of has uh, pushed all my charts and graphs underneath the uh, analytics up high. Also, um, talking about the gun and ammo crisis, uh, any of those videos really get a lot of views. I had one about a month ago that went off the charts. For me, uh, I rarely have a video that gets the number of hits that did, which kind of shows it's touching on a topic that is popular and gets a lot of views. Um, because mainly my channel deals with mill surplus guns, and uh, I do go out into other fields like the 80% uh, area, which had a lot of uh, views is very popular. There's a lot of people interested in the polymer 80s or doing an AR lower. Okay, so I did some work with that earlier in the year, and uh, that also got me a lot of subscribers. Had a lot of interest in it, and still does. Um, then you know AR 15s are always popular, and I've done several different videos on those over the years where I've either done a build or, you know, go out and shoot them and discuss them. Or, um, so that, that also helps. Uh, but right now, <clears throat> I'm going to, the Carcano uh, thing has brought up a few different issues, some, some to do with parts and maybe manufacturing screws. And then again, it's the uh, feeding problems and the extractor issue. Um, that is something that I am researching, and I may come up with uh, some sort of explanation. I'm a little leery because when you fool with the extractor, unless we know exactly what we're doing and I can tell you exactly how to adjust it, I don't want to put a video out where people will inadvertently damage the firearms or make the situation worse. So that's why I'm not getting like a super fast response and I really haven't had time to get into it uh, in detail or work with it here recently I had some other things come up but another thing I'm gonna go back to some of the antique guns um, like from the 1870s and that and also something I came up with about a year or so ago is a lot of these guns don't function well unless they use a paper patch bullet. And paper patch bullet is a type of technology that was used quite a bit back in that time period, but kind of has faded away. All right. And it's when it comes to reloading and using this technology, it's a little bit different than what we do in modern reloading. Okay. And uh, even though most of them were with black powder cartridges and the whole concept is soft lead bullet with the black powder kind of bumps it up and knocks it into the rifling. And, uh, you know, it's fairly accurate. Um, you can do it with smokeless, so I've been researching and working on this also. And that's something that's going to come up uh, is paper patching bullets. Um, 
So that's what I'm kind of working on, more of the work on the Carcano. Uh, like I said, the extractor issue, it's something that's in the works, you know, and I'm going to try to get around to it. Once I can get a definite thing to explain to people, I will. Well, that's about where we're going. Oh, and another thing. I did put a channel update. Now, at one time, uh, when I was working with a lot of people about a year ago, um, I would do a weekly update and just tell people where we're at because I had a lot of people that were asking me about reloading uh, problems and issues we were working on. Uh, kind of did it as a group effort. And if there were different things people were asking for, most of it was me fabricating uh, some brass on my machinery or some other or casting bullets from one of my custom bullet molds that they were using to uh, reload themselves. I was making bullets for people. Um, I may get back into that where I'm going to do like a weekly update and discuss what's going on. Um, with different things I'm doing uh, because I am working even now with a large group of people on different things be it ammunition, reloading, uh, cast bullets um, like I said people have asked me can you make a screw and uh, there may be a way for me to easily make this one common screw that's missing in a lot of the Carcanos that you can't find um, so that's something else I'm working on but that's about where we're at, so I may start doing more updates, either weekly or more frequently. I did one uh, last week, and it worked out quite well for me and everybody involved. Um, a lot of good responses. I'm doing a lot more communicating with people. So that's where we're going, and I'd like to thank you for subscribing. I'd like to also thank... All the people who have sent in support, it does help, it helps keep me going. Um, probably going to get into a few other different things and then still sticking with the Carcano because that's a very popular um, thing right at the moment and a lot of interest in that going on. So that's about where we are. And like I said, I thanked everybody in that. And the only thing I can say is stay tuned. And if you haven't subscribed, please do.